just viewed a beautiful picture of cabbage. That is what I inspired to have growing in my garden. However, it seems like it's going to be a long stretch to get me there. But I'm trying to be proactive and take some measures to get me there. So I want to share it with you guys a contraption that I've made to hopefully help me along the process. Uh, to give you a little bit of an overview, I have grown these cabbage from seedlings and they're probably a little over a month old now and I've been hit by the cabbage moth four times. Excuse the dog in the background barking, that's a neighbor's dog. Um, and he's, he's a big dog and he's very annoying. <laughs> But anyway, um, I've been hit by the cabbage moth four times, and uh, it's, it's really depressing because you get to see these big old green words. They get bigger by the night, and they're chomping down, chomping down, chomping down on your plants, and the next thing you know, you don't have any leaves. And I'm like, I am not growing these plants for you to eat. You know, you can find some other source of food. Uh, what have you been eating in the past? Because this is my first year growing cabbage, you know, or uh, excuse me, collards. So I'm not sharing. No. So anyway, let me show you what I've decided to do. So right here um, is some pantyhose. I went to my local Dollar Tree Plus. So they sell things that are a dollar and above. And I got the Ultra Sheer. You must have the Ultra Sheer type. And I decided to go with the nude color because I figured it wouldn't be that bad to look at. You could have done, I could have done black too. Um, but the main thing is you want to get the sizes as big as possible. So as you can see, I have queen size and the weight allotment is 160 to 240. If I could have got bigger, I surely would have. You need them as big as possible. These say extra wide, which sort of suits my purpose purpose excuse me very well so yeah let me show you what I've done with these pantyhose so I'm growing my cabbage in a container my collars I don't know why I keep saying cabbage uh, excuse me about that but I'm growing my collars in a container this though will work if you decide to use it in the ground you must just stake it accordingly around the plant and as it grows you may need to modify it a little bit um, but for now I have it in a pot and what I've done here is I have sticks there are three sticks there's a one here there's one there and then there's uh, actually I just have two um, but this one has like a fork so it's like a fork um, shape there at the top so I have the waistband of the pantyhose around the side of the pot and so they're sort of upside down so this is the waistband and these are the legs going upward. So what I've done here is I cut off the very end and that can be used for like if you want to have some blueberries or something like that and you want to keep the birds from eating it, you can reuse the ends and cover the individual sections of the blueberries. So this is multi-purpose for only a dollar. You know, you just really can't beat that. Um, but anyway, so um, I, another way that you I could have done this project and I just thought about it is to put some piping in the corner like PVC small little PVC piping at, at like a foot against up out of the soil in each four corners since this pot is square if it was circular then I would have done three um, so then once you get your sticks in there you don't want the plants to be like laying on the actual pantyhose so you want them to be able to move freely and grow freely so that way they're not growing sort of squished so make sure you um, arrange your sticks or PVC accordingly. And you can always come back and adjust as they grow. Um, but once you do that, then you're going to pull the pantyhose leg to the corner like that. Then you're going to take the other, make sure your little plants, and since I cut all the leaves off of this, there's not a whole lot huh, that I have to worry about right now. But then you're going to cover the edge like that. And there you have it. So the plants are not touching due to the sticks, the pantyhose, and they're going to grow. They're going to get air. They're going to get water, but they're not going to get any bugs. So I'll keep you guys posted. 